everybody, Serious Blue here. Today we are looking at the expression changes in the Void program, so how to customize your characters, like the way that they talk, the way their mouth moves, that sort of thing, uh, and how extreme their expressions are. So this is limited to what you can do in the program, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can always export into, as far as I know, Unity or Blender to create more custom emotions that's not what we're doing today it's not something i have much experience with so we're just going to get into the program okay so this is the broid program i am in the face section and this is my character oh uh, yeah <laughs> Okay, what you want to do is click this one down the bottom, the Expressions Editor, and that's going to take you straight to your expressions. The thing is, uh, it's I would probably just focus on changing one thing at a time to keep it universal throughout all of these as your expression changes. So uh, we could focus on, you know, eyes. Just for example, so this is your neutral, and then you would go down, that's what she looks like when she's smiling. If you didn't like the eyes like that, or you wanted them to be more squinty or less squinty, you know? Then this is how you change it. That's her sad face. Angry face, doesn't really look that angry, does it? The eyebrows are a bit low, so let's try to fix that. How do I make her eyes more angry? Thing. A little more squinty? We could do a little bit more squinty. Okay. Sad. Angry. Maybe sad doesn't need to be as squinty. And then we can fix the eyebrows a little bit on there. They just go a little bit too low. <laughs> it's a surprise look. Um. <laughs> That's cute. Close, right and left. And then this is where you would edit what their mouth looks like when it's talking okay so you can see that even the character i'm using right now it reacts to the microphone or the camera depending on your settings and yeah so this will determine how wide the mouth moves and all sorts of things like that so that's what she looks like when she's making ah 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 uh, e <laughs> E, U, E, O. <laughs> I'm making the sound so that you can like see the character I'm using right now and the differences between the two. Uh, okay, so I have edited these before. It was good that we got to fix some of the differences up there but what I want to show you is the mouth so there's a few different um, differences here with the mouth masculine and feminine mouth inside and the teeth so I am actually there's a new setting here that's cat mouth which I have had a lot of fun playing with and you've probably been able to see through her, not just the texture, the way that I've drawn the texture on there to make it more cat mouthy, but then with the cat mouth uh, settings, it it accentuates this even more. So it's super cute. I think it's super cute anyway. Uh, she's a bit, she's a bit uh, scared there. So uh, when you change one of these settings. Basically, you're going to want to either copy and paste it or just remember what the number is and then go through all of them. The eyebrows on those specific ones didn't make too much of a, a difference because 
you know, but it definitely matters with the mouth and the width of the mouth to make it smoother when you're actually talking. Otherwise, it can look a bit janky. So just make sure you either copy this and, you know, put it into the next one so that they match. Or when you are just quickly flicking through these that you can tell that it's not going to be like a jarring, a jarring experience when your model is talking. So that's the basics there. I do really like the cat mouth. Um, cat shaped mouth here. So if I put this all the way up, you'll be able to see. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Um, but yes. So just adjust that however you want. You can put the mouth up and down. Uh, teeth, hiding the teeth, vampire teeth, shark teeth, fangs. You probably can't see it on this setting. Not really gonna show it is it a bit hard to tell shark teeth shark teeth you can tell shark i'm a shark do -do. oh my gosh i'm a shark do -do 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 -do. i'm a shark <laughs> uh but yeah so this is how you can adjust it so that it's not so extreme because the uh original like default settings can be a bit much when using this as a VTuber avatar. Also, I'm going to be selling this hair preset. I was thinking of also um, putting this model together. Finishing her up. I just haven't decided on an outfit. We probably won't go with that one. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that this helped you guys to find where the setting is. And then, of course, you can take photos and that of your model to test the different settings. I'm still not sure. Eh, I guess it's like a pouty angry, isn't it? But yes, I'm glad we got to fix the eyebrows on there. Alright, so I hope that this helped you. Let's go back to the talking. <laughs> so that was the basics of how to customize your expression settings in Vroid. Uh, I hope that it helped you guys. Of course, there are more ways that you can customize these but that's not within the void program and i don't have any experience with that so i can't help you there but uh yeah there is a lot you can do with the basics available to you to customize your character and give them more of a personality so i hope this tutorial helped to let me know how you guys go in the comments and i'll see you in the next video done there bye bye